saw you with your smile so tender. My heart was raptured, my soul surrendered. I've spent a lifetime waiting for the right time. And now you're here, the time is here at last. It's now or never. Come hold me tight. Kiss me, my darling. Be mine tonight. Tomorrow will be too late. It's now or never. My love won't wait. Walang kakupas kupas, Mr. Eddie Mesa, veteran Filipino actor, and now he is a father and grandfather of some of the most talented actors and actresses in the Philippines right now. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan LA. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you and hi. Ayan, marami sa mga fans ni Tito Eddie. They're very uh, happy to see you today on the show. And we're going to be talking about some of the concerts where you can watch him as well. But before that, Tito, for those that are not familiar naman, no, can you tell us a little bit about your journey in Philippine show business? In Philippine show business? So when do you want me to start? When? <laughs> From the very From start. The very start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, I, I was dubbed as the Elvis Press of the Philippines. Um, it's funny because so when I made an audi when I auditioned uh, to, um, in a theater in the Philippines, I was not singing Elvis Presley songs. Elvis Presley was not in the scene yet. Mm. So twice I made an audition, and the director and the producer did not mind me. They said, "We'll just call you. We'll just call you." Oh, but they okay. never How did. How old were you? Oh, I was 16. Mm -hmm. So at an early age, you wanted to be in entertainment. Uh, oh, well, I. Uh, my my cousin encouraged me because he would he he would hear me sing. Ah, okay. You know there will be a jukebox somewhere, and then I'm gonna sing with the jukebox. I'll sing with the radio, and so my cousin really encouraged me. So before I audition, I would go to um, uh, amateur contest mm -hmm. during fiestas. Mm -hmm. I did. I did some uh, tawag ng tanghalan and right. dito sa Latandena, and I've been winning uh, some, uh, you know, first prize, second prize, right. third prize. And so my cousin said, you know, you should sing. So uh, he he asked me, uh, maybe I should bring you to a radio station and, and sing. So I sang uh, Sammy Davis' Junior uh, Six Bridges to Cross. Sammy funny. Davis, yes. Yeah, well, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very For good. me, he's, he's a really, a, really a good entertainer. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I auditioned, uh, I was surrounded by all these singers, and my voice didn't come out. <gasps> Why? Yeah, and, and the piano, because I was nervous. Oh, okay, okay. So the piano said, come back tomorrow. Okay. Come back tomorrow about 7 o'clock. So my cousin said, you know, give me a shot of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Before you went on the next Before day. Before so, oh, wow. Oh, oh. So we, we took, uh, of course, uh, because I, I, I needed I needed some something to, 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 to boost me, you know, mm -hmm. my, my confidence. But anyway, so I went there and I was, I passed the audition and I sang. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget the title of the uh, the name of the radio program, but I sang Six Bridges to Cross by Sammy Davis Jr. So uh, I would audition singing that those kinds of songs, and and the impresario didn't didn't mind me until one day my schoolmate said, "Sing Elvis Presley," because we put up a band. And for me, I did not know who Elvis Presley was then. It was very very new. Mm -hmm. Anyway, one day I I heard on the radio that an announcer said, Elvis Presley is going to be singing, I don't care if the sun don't shine. So I, I said, I'm going to listen to this guy because I want to look. So he sang. And he said, um, I don't care if the sun don't shine. I get below. I couldn't understand <laughs> what he was saying. <laughs> you're you know? trying to study, no? Yeah, oh, I, about, uh, yeah. I don't think yeah. I like this guy, yeah. you know, because uh, for me, singing should be clear, right? Yes. And so, but anyway, when Love Me Tender came into town in oh, a third run theater, I went to see it and I became a fan. So I came back home and I started combing my hair and put pomade and all that, uh -huh. wanting to uh, uh, shave my sideburns. And then... Um, Pero mas pogi ka naman tito kay Elvis. No way. <laughs> yes, I, I think that. I truly believe that. It's in the eyes that. of the beholder, yeah. really, as she said. Yeah. And, oh. Anyway, uh, so we put up a band and then we auditioned uh -huh. and, the, and the producer said, you have a picture? No. 
Get yourself some picture because you're going to be on in two weeks. Oh, wow. Because of the Elvis Presley thing. Sige something nga, new. Dito, sample so, nga ng so, Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender. Love. Parang, parang no ano, one. parang di susi. Oh, that's no <laughs> one, diba? Oh, sige. Anyway. Well, you know what? Okay. Let's talk some more. When we return on the show, I'm devoting the whole show today for <laughs> Mr. Eddie Mesa. He deserves that and more. And perhaps he can sing for us. He, and he might be singing for us again more when we return. Don't go away. <laughs>